In this lab video, we are going to show you an example of how to download, build and run an example code for vital signs measurement on the millimeter wave sensor EVM platform using the Code Composer Studio. This code will measure the chest displacement of a person sitting in front of the millimeter wave sensor and estimate their breathing rate and heart rate. After a brief overview, we will describe the software and hardware prerequisites to download and build the source code provided with this lab followed by how to flash and load the program onto the device and run the graphical user interface to obtain measurements. This lab exercise demonstrates the ability of TI millimeter wave sensors to measure chest displacements due to breathing and heartbeat. Typically for a human adult, the chest displacement due to breathing is a few millimeters, while for the heartbeats it is in the order of several hundred micrometers. To measure these small displacements, we use the phase of the FMCEW signal at the target range pin and track this phase over time. Here is a brief overview of the physical setup and the GUI for this lab. A person is required to sit very still in front of the millimeter wave sensor EVM with the sensor pointing towards their chest. The TI millimeter wave sensor will measure the chest displacement of the person and the onboard programmable processing cores on the device are used to filter out the breathing and heartbeat pattern from these chest displacements and estimate the breathing rate and the heart rate. The chest displacements, the breathing and heartbeat waveforms as well as the breathing rate and heart rate are all displayed on the lab GUI. Please make sure that your computer has the required software packages to build and run this lab. Please download the latest MMWave SDK package and all the related dependencies mentioned in the SDK release notes. Vital Science Lab CCS project can be downloaded from the TI Resource Explorer. You would also need UniFlash for flashing the firmware images onto the device. Also please make sure that you have the MATLAB runtime version 9.1 for running the GUI. This example code runs on the IWR14XX CVM. Although not an absolute requirement, a lens in front of the sensor can be used to direct the radar waves towards the chest of the subject. Now, we will step through the procedure required to download, build and run the Vital Science Lab project. It is assumed that you have the TI Millimeter Wave SDK and all the related tools installed on your PC. If not, then please follow the MMWave SDK release notes that contains the version numbers and the download links for the required tools. All the Millimeter Wave Lab projects are available under MMWave Training in the CCS Resource Explorer. To download the Vital Science Lab, start CCS, select View, then click on the Resource Explorer to open it. In the Resource Explorer window, select Software, millimeter wave training and then labs. Select the vital science lab in the left view of the resource explorer. The right view would show the contents of the lab which contains the CCS project and the PC GUI. Click on the download and install button in the right corner and select the make available offline option from the drop down menu. This will start downloading the lab onto your PC. The project would be downloaded in C slash TI slash millimeter wave training. Click on the CCS project and import to IDE button should be visible on the right side view. Click on this and this would copy the project in the user's workspace and would import it into the CCS project explorer. The project should now be visible in the CCS project explorer. At this point we have successfully downloaded the vital science lab and imported it in CCS. We are now ready to move to the next step which is building the project. With the Vital Science Lab project selected in the Project Explorer, open the project menu and select Build Project. Look at the console window and if this step is successful, the following two files with a .bin and a .xcr4f extensions should be produced in the project debug directory. If the build fails with errors, then please make sure that all the prerequisites mentioned in the MMWave SDK release notes are correctly installed. We have now successfully built the project and are now ready to flash the EVM with the generated image binaries. 
the compiled code can be run onto the EVM in two different modes. In the deployment mode, the binary image with the .bin extension can be flashed onto the EVM serial flash. In this mode, the EVM on power on automatically boots from the flash and starts running the binary image. However, in this presentation, we will explain the second method where we would download and run the executable with the .xcr4f extension using CCS. We will need to flash a small CCS debug firmware on the EVM to allow the EVM to connect to CCS. First, power on the EVM and connect it to your PC through the micro USB cable. Now, open the Windows Device Manager and two virtual COM ports should be visible. Note the number of these ports as they will be used later for flashing and running the lab. Put the EVM in flashing mode by connecting jumpers on SOP0 and SOP2. Open the UniFlash tool and in the new configuration section, locate and select the appropriate device. Then click start to proceed. In the program tab, browse and locate the radar SS and MSS images. These images should be available in the MMWave SDK installation directory at the locations shown in the slide. In the Settings and Utilities tab, fill the COM port with the application UART COM port number that was noted earlier from the Windows Device Manager. Now return to the Program tab, power cycle the EVM and click on Load Images. When the flash procedure completes, UniFlash console should indicate success. Once flashing is successfully completed, power off the board and remove the jumper from SOP2 only. Now we move on to connecting the EVM to CCS and running the lab. To connect the radar EVM to CCS, we need to create a target configuration. To do this, go to File, New and click on New Target Configuration. Give an appropriate name to the target configuration file and check the Use Shared Location checkbox and press Finish. In the Configuration Editor window, Select Texas Instruments XTS-110 USB Debug Pro for connection. Type IWR in the Border Device text box and select IWR-1443 device. Then press Save button to save the target configuration. To open the target configuration window, go to View, Target Configuration. You should see your target configuration under User Defined Configurations. Right-click on the configuration and select Launch Selected Configuration, which will launch the target configuration in the debug window. Select the Texas Instruments XTS-110 USB debug probe and press the Connect Target button. When the target is connected, click on the Load button in the toolbar. In the Load Program dialog box, press the Browse Project button and select the executable that you generated in the build process. Now press OK in the Load Program dialog box to load this executable. When the executable is loaded, press the Run button. The program should start executing and generate messages on the console. You should see the CLI is operational message which indicates that the program is ready and waiting for the sensor configuration. This configuration is sent using the MATLAB GUI. Now we are ready to execute the lab GUI. This is available in the lab GUI directory under the Vital Science lab. Open the GUI executable file and once the GUI window opens, press the settings button which will open up a dialog box. In the dialog box, update the user UART and data port numbers with the ones corresponding to your local machine. The configuration file name text box should automatically be filled with the name of the default profile provided in the GUI directory. Press start to load the configuration. Also make sure that the load config file checkbox is checked while loading the configuration file. At this point, you should see the sensor configuration being sent in the CLI command line window opened by the GUI. Now we are ready to take some measurements with the GUI. Have the subject sit comfortably on the chair in front of the sensor with the sensor pointing towards their chest. 
As we are measuring very small chest vibrations, the subject is required to be very still for accurate measurements. Make sure that the plot range profile checkbox is checked and a peak corresponding to the subject can be seen in the range profile plot. Once a peak is seen, press the refresh button. Now, chest displacements due to breathing should be clearly visible in the breathing waveform plot. Once a few chest displacements have been seen, ask the subject to hold their breath. The breathing rate should go to zero and turn red. The breathing waveform plot should be more or less constant and the heart rate waveforms should still be visible. If this does not happen, then either the subject is not properly aligned with the radar or there is interference coming from other moving objects within the radar field of view. Note that you will need to wait for 20 to 30 seconds so that enough data frames are received for an accurate estimate of the vital signs.